Gambia is not an Islamic state. Gambians, fellow activists and friends of the Gambia. My name is James Jegan Bahum and I make this statement in direct response to the recent proclamation by President Yaya Jame in which he stated that he was going to transform the Gambia from a secular republican status into an Islamic state. I am also making this statement to join the growing chorus of voices that have come out to denounce this statement as irresponsible and dangerous. I share their sentiments. And I want to also tell President Jame that his proclamation is not made in my name as a Gambian. It does, however, beg the question, why is Jame doing this at this time? The simple answer to this question is that Jame and his APRC government have failed the Gambian people and has nothing left to give. His promise of transforming Gambia into the Dubai of Africa has failed. His promise of making Gambia a donor country has failed. His promise of economic prosperity has failed. His promise of rice self-sufficiency by December 2015 has failed. Instead, the Gambian people have become poorer and are currently experiencing growing poverty as the economy tumbles into free fall, presided over by his dysfunctional and incompetent government. During his Meet the People's tour of the country in the past three years, Jame has seen his political fortunes diminishing. He has lost the confidence and respect of the Gambian people, and they have withdrawn their trust from him. Jame has come to the realization that Gambians have had enough of him and are most likely going to vote him out of office rather than into office in the next election. He is therefore seeking, merely seeking other ways to perpetuate himself in power by implementing this grand project to transform Gambia into an Islamic state in order merely to prolong his rule. Gambians and friends of the Gambia, let us be clear about this. Jame's recent proclamation has nothing to do with religion, but everything to do with crude politics. Jame's sinister plans to subvert the country's secular republican tradition for his personal political survival was put into motion not on the 10th of December 2015 in Burfoot. In fact, it has been on for the past few years. Among other changes to our traditional way of life, we recall the following seemingly innocent and piecemeal changes introduced in the country in the last few years. 1. Changing the working week, thereby making Friday a non-working day. The banning of gambling in the country, number 2. Number 3. The issuance of what amounts to a fatwa on when and how Eid prayers should be held. 4. The promise to change the official language to Arabic. And 5. The official sanctioning and active encouragement of fundamentalist religious scholars and Jame supporters who preach a foreign religious tradition that supports non-secularism and promotes religious extremism. Gambians, if Jame is allowed to tamper with our national constitution, which provides for the separation of state and religion, if he is allowed to change our country's national character, this will inevitably lead to a slippery slope, which will eventually see Jame transform himself into an unelected, infallible, all supreme ayatollah with the divine right to issue fatwas and make life and death decisions over Gambians under a certain perverted version of Sharia law. The question that quickly comes to mind is, why fix it if it's not broken? 
Gambia's secular republican constitutional model has served us well over many generations. It has nurtured our respect and tolerance for religious and tribal diversity, sustained our enviable national cohesion, and it has kept the nation in peace and harmony. Jame's diabolical plans to transform Gambia into an Islamic state presage religious conflict, regardless of his promises to the contrary. We should therefore not merely denounce his plans, we must resist it, we must resist this sinister ploy with every weapon in our arsenal. We must say loudly and clearly, not in our names. Thank you very much.